<laughs> We're going to leave the, the U.S. of A. and um, move on to um, my backyard. At the feeder, there are two kinds of nut hatches, and someone... I know you're going to hate me. All right. At the feeder, there are two kinds of nut hatches, and someone very red, and someone very yellow, chickadee, dee, dee, and someone very large who casts a wide shadow and causes some of them to shriek and some to go silent, and some come in pairs, and some come in groups of five. And Mr. Upside Down always comes alone, spinning like an acrobat, one foot flexing, open and closed, talking to the sky, the other gripping a twig, turning beak to earth. Amen. And Squirrel Monday barks and chips, but it may not be him because he is too guttural, and his head is enormous, and his eyes are clear, and his coat is new, and his tail is fine. He is fresh and easily frighted with great ear tufts and madly beating heart, taking his first strides and leaps, testing speed and balance, feeling cheeky, taking risks, seeing everything, witnessing the great opening before it begins to unravel. And there upon the earth is someone very scaly and someone very long, and someone with four toes who lives under the large boulder, and someone who causes the grass to tremble while he slides between the stalks. And here is someone meek and big-eared headed for the feeder, and little long snout scuttling across the path, the image of the great blue cat emblazoned forever on the back of his tiny imagination. Every day, this small girl holds a bird. She takes them against the window when they fly in, puts one hand over their head, and they are suddenly stilled. The other catches the body, so she looks like she is praying with a tiny beak or tail poking out. <clears throat> And when she goes outside and opens her hands, it feels like a prayer. The grip of a tiny foot on her finger, the racing heart, flurry of wings, and the small brown form suddenly airborne and disappearing. <laughs>